I wanted to talk about the benefits of worshiping in a congregation remotely like many people are doing now. I've had some experiences in congregations that that are not uh, not good experiences. When I was a young teenager, I was in a Catholic church and there was a young man sitting next to me and he put his hand on my knee. Can you imagine this? I don't remember what I was what I did or I moved away or something. Anyway, I was in another congregation that was meeting in someone's home and um and I, I shook hands with the, with the man, just met him. And so he has my hand, he's shaking my hand, and then he starts moving his hand up my forearm and rubbing it and saying, oh, I'm so glad to meet you. <laughs> so after that, I, I think I stopped uh, shaking hands and hugging and all that stuff they do in congregations. Now... In a synagogue, in an Orthodox synagogue, if they're meeting in someone's home, they have a line of plants. Let me get one, I'll show you. Here. Here, they have something like this, a whole bunch of them, and they have a line of them, and on one side, like the left side, all the men are sitting. And on the other side, on the other side of the plant, the women are sitting. So you don't have any problem with the opposite gender bothering you. But the problem I had in, the, in this place was that the woman sitting next to me was just you know, chattering away. I was trying to listen to the rabbi and, you know, and learn something. And what can you do? You have to, like, kind of smile and, and listen. And um, I don't like being rude. Like, I mean, I, I guess some people, people would say, oh, tell me later. I want to listen to the rabbi. But, you know, I get too polite sometimes. So anyway, uh, we're worshiping remotely, many people, and um, it works. And is, isn't this the purpose, to, to learn something, to, to pay attention to spiritual things? So there's a lot of good changes happening in the world right now, things we should have done a long time ago. And... Um, I think there are many people who don't like these changes because it's interfering with their income. Well, the answer to that is grow a garden. Get out of your apartment, buy a little old handyman special house and plant the garden and start living naturally and providing for at least some of your own food and and get in touch with nature. It's how can you how can you follow the commandments in the Bible? I mean, hundreds of commandments, ordinances, and statutes, and so many of them involve agriculture or animal husbandry. Think about it. 